Hello Beauty News family, welcome to this week's episode of Beauty News. This is the July 7th edition, we'll be talking about new stuff. Um, I also want to address that some people are very disappointed that you don't fuck up the date anymore. Oh, <laughs> you know why? I know why. Because I'm not stressed. No, <laughs> really? that's not why at all. It's because she's, we've started, what we used to do was just go through our like phone yep. um, and save the photos Whereas now we have like a Dropbox folder yeah, I, that's with the date yes, on it. I pre-edit the photos. Yeah. So, and I create the Dropbox folder and I dump all of the pictures. And when so, you open it, it says it does, July it's like 7. 7. Yeah. So, I yeah. just don't forget. <laughs> Sorry. I miss her fucking up the date too, to be honest. It, it used to be pretty funny, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, today we've got our Harry Potter scarves on. We do. We're kicking goals. Next week... Um, she might have a cape. I'm going to try and remember to bring my cape. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> Just for the fun. Um, we want to start with some skincare, actually. Yeah. Without Simon. Sorry, Simon. Um, so we're doing this one without you. We have uh, from Philosophy. We actually went to an event for yeah. Philosophy uh, last week. Yeah, and um, it was a breakfast. It was early. A breakfast, yeah, and they sort of showed us through their range, showed mm-hmm. us some new stuff that's coming out. So I'm going to start with a product called Take a Deep Breath Night. This is um, an oil-free detoxifying gel balm. Man, this stuff is wacky though. Like we I don't have this. it, but we got to play with it. Yeah, it is like a memory gel, so it's yeah. one of those really jiggly yeah it's like jelly and then when you like stick your fingers in it and like smoosh it up yeah it all like smooths back if you have used like a lot of asian skincare you Mm -hmm. know exactly what we're talking about i also found that this the scent of this was really nice because it had like a gosh almost like a fresh almost cucumbery scent Mm -hmm. that reminded me a bit of estee lauder daywear yeah but not as like Strong. It yes. was really nice. No, so it, what was, the, what it was really good. Yeah. So um, it claims to moisturize the skin as though submerged in water. Mm-hmm. Um, it's got a hydration seal memory gel texture, mm-hmm. and it's formulated to trap and lock in moisture and dewiness throughout the night. So it's a intense hydrating treatment. Yeah, which is perfect for. Um, people with oily skin because their yes. most of their moisturizers don't have oils in it, yes. so they're hydrating but not heavy. Yes. Um, when's this being released in Australia? Um, it was July, wasn't it? Late it was July. July. It does not say on the press release, unfortunately. I think it was late July. I think it is late in this month. Yeah. That's yeah. And this might already be available in the US. We're a little bit behind. We are. Yeah. Unfortunately, we know that. it's it's a thing. Um it's also packed full of antioxidants, so it's good for the old people. That's us. That's me and her. Do you know what is also good for old people? Popcorn. Oh my god, guys, have you tried this popcorn? This not is not sponsored. We're no, it's happy. not sponsored. By the way, our last one where we had Coke bottles, Coke vanilla also not sponsored, but not against it. Um, this is a Cobb's popcorn. It's a cheddar cheese flavor. This stuff is like, it's like, it's like drugs. It's pretty delicious. It's so good. Um, the next product that we have from Philosophy is the Micro Delivery Detoxifying Oxygen Peel. Now this is a two-step peel. You've got a charcoal gel that you put all over your face mm-hmm. and you leave it on there for a little while. And then you have the oxygen foam booster, which you then put over the mask and gently like massage it in and it foams up. Yeah, it foams up. Not as much as those, like, what are those? Like uh, the Eliza Vecca. Yeah, not as um, much as those crazy masks. Yeah, but it foams. But it does So it's kind of like that. Um this one claims to draw out and absorb pore clogging dirt, impurities, and skin toxins without stripping the skin of moisture. So that is fun. Um, yeah. The and oxygen is meant to help like energize the skin. Oh, we have here, here, here. It's is available it uh, 27th of oh, August, cool. but I think it's actually coming out they're having two a, weeks before yes, they're in having David a Jones. Pre release yeah. late July. So, or maybe it was early August. 
can't remember, but they're having a pre-release. It was two weeks before it was released. Um, and then, so another bit of news that I found for US philosophy lovers mm-hmm. is they're actually adding in uh, micellar water to the purity range. So the purity range is their cleansing range, and they've got makeup wipes that have just come out in Australia. Yes. Um, they've got the cream cleanser, mm-hmm. a gel cleanser, an oil cleanser, and they're bringing out micellar water as well yes. in the US. So that's US news. Um, one last kind of PR thing, and this is weird that we're kind of talking about PR first, but hey, the more brands that send us stuff to talk about that are new, the more we can actually give you an in-depth discussion discussion on about the it yeah. um these ones which i'll put like a i'll take a photo and i'll put them on the screen as well but these i was actually randomly sent yesterday not to beauty news but to me personally um these are the gel tint and silk glosses by pixie um and i think this is because it's summer in the uk and summer in the u.s winter here um but they're kind of really hyping up the sheer makeup kind of look for summer which Mm -hmm. i i get so these are double ended one is a stain which i'm actually wearing one of them today i'm wearing the um this darker one here which has like a wine stain and then an orange gloss that you can put on the top or not so they're double ended things once again i think i'll probably put a little i'll make a little clip and put it over me talking so it makes more sense so you can see it closer but um Yeah, they're double ended with a stain and then a gloss on one end. You can use them individually or you can use them on top of each other. Really comfortable and I quite like them. I don't love all the shades, to be honest. Um, The nude one's fab and this kind of dark one's really pretty. The bright pink one, not my jam, but it'd be some people's jam. That's all right. Um, I like the whole, like, stain and then gloss idea. Yeah. Like... I feel like with lip glosses, the way to do them right is to get them so they feel almost like nothing on your lips. And yeah. these are that nice, like, thin, wet, wet formula yeah, rather than, sticky. like, sticky and heavy. So mm-hmm. when it wears off, you just reapply. It's yeah, really deal. easy. And the, the stain's really thin and nice as well, so you can easily reapply. But, yeah, so I'm wearing one today. I actually quite like the look of it. I'll wear yeah, it again. Nice. And I definitely want to wear the nude one more. So um, they've got a slight, a very slight mint kind of it's like not a tingling mint but more of a cooling mint Mint, kind of feel to them which is i quite like cool all right dropbox july 7th yeah we're going well in this case bees to whatever yeah yeah but alphabetical alphabetical um bare minerals have brought out a product called the statement lip this is essentially the gen nude matte liquid lipsticks that colored. formula, coloured. I so, love that idea. So do I. I think it's great. They smashed out those nudes. Apparently, they're really good. I need I to get some. I, need I, to get I some. watch them and I look at them and I'm like, they all look very similar and I can't choose which one I want. I Yeah. I want them to bring out like a mini Christmas pack with like yeah. all of them in minis. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Love it. Love yeah. it. So they've got some beautiful pink shades here going into mauves, reds, and then like purpley berry shades. And they look really nice. These look I'm surprised great they didn't on do the this lips. earlier. Yeah, I feel like I suppose they got on the nude bandwagon really quickly. And they and then went pumped hard. it out. They did. And I suppose now the only way to sort of progress is to get into the coloured stuff. Yeah. But I would I'm always a fan of brands sort of taking it slow and getting things right rather yeah. than being like, bombardment, bombardment. Anyway, lovely colours. I'm yeah. into it. Down with it. Um, JD Wadey and Beautylish are doing a thing. We don't know what it is. We no. just know it's uh, something. Isn't JD Wadey one of those names where um, <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine like starting up a channel or something when you're like 16 and you're like, this is a cool name, JD Wadey yeah. 180. And then you, you grow up and you're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Everyone um, knows me as JD Wadey. If yeah. I change, I'm fucked. Yeah. 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 Does she look like a JD Wadey? She looks like a Jade. She definitely looks like a jade, but I would say she's matured beyond the JD Wadey, and I don't mean that in a bad way. Unless her saying, name is legitimately Jade JD... Wadey. <laughs> <laughs> that's unfortunate. If it is, 
<laughs> whatever. whatever. But <laughs> we'll keep you judge. posted on what this yeah. is about. Yeah. Um, Bleach London. I don't know this brand. No. Um, anyway, they're bringing out a BYO palette. I don't want to bring my own. No. I want you to bring me one. Yeah. Uh, these are build your own magnetic makeup palettes. Cool. The face. Cool. Good stuff. I like it. Um, there's also liquid lipsticks. Lip pencil, um, some sort of like... Liquid highlighter? I think it's a liquid highlighter. And then, obviously, they've got their individual eyeshadow pans, which is cool. cool. Um, Clinique, they are bringing out a post-workout and workout range. Yeah. Um, At the moment, exclusive to Ulta. Yes. It's in stores August 6th, online July 16th. Um, they're calling it the Clinique Fit range. They've got post-workout face and body cleansing wipes. It looks to be an eye cream, mattifying moisturizer, broad spectrum SPF 40 sunscreen, hydrating spray, and a mascara. Workout 24-hour mascara. Yeah, so that would probably waterproof. waterproof. Yeah. So if that's your thing. This is a thing that brands are getting, like Tarte did this last Last year, earlier this year, uh, la- oh. last year. Yeah, they, they, did, they did something like this where they had like a yeah. workout range. They did, um, which is interesting. I suppose this is an interesting way to get like the lifestyle and fitness bloggers to start promoting yeah. stuff. Yeah, because I, this I is they would so. lap this up. Yeah, they would, and it fits with their aesthetic too. Yeah. So, cool, good stuff, good stuff. Um, ColourPop. Yeah. Now, ColourPop is bringing out a... They're doing a collaboration with Match.com. Yeah. Um, and Match.com, if you don't know, is a dating website. Yeah. Now, they're releasing this, like, pink, pinky red matte liquid lipstick. Mm-hmm. People think it's weird. They're like, what the fuck? Yeah. It. I think it's a bit what the fuck as well. Yeah. Um, a dollar from every liquid lipstick sold is going to glam for good um i'm just gonna put this out there yeah i don't know why it's match.com colourpop and glam for good because glam for good is a fashion and beauty movement community non-profit empowerment platform that celebrates social impact through beauty and style i don't understand what that has to do with dating yeah, like, I, I can... I'm thinking if it was like going to a, a something to prevent, I don't know, like, like domestic domestic violence, violence? yeah, or, or I don't date know. rape, yeah, or... yeah, that'd be a good one. But I don't understand how they're taking glam for good, which is like a beauty and lifestyle or beauty and style mm. empowerment type thing with match do you know what it sounds like understand. it is well firstly if you're match.com you don't want to be associated with date rape no absolutely so not. there's probably that but that's i reckon probably that's probably point. it yeah but they probably sat down around a skype conversation yeah. and match was like i really want to work with you color pop and they're like okay Make pay us work. and we'll do it and then um then they were just like, well, people are going to question this. Yeah. But this other charity wants in, so let's just do all that. You know, two let's, birds with one stone. Yeah. Yeah. Mishmash. Hey, and no one's going to get upset because no one's implying that you can get date raped on Match.com. That's <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully you can't get well. Well, you can. You, you but can, but be careful. Yes, always be careful. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it's a nice color. Um, yeah. It is a nice color. I. I don't really get it. I can understand why Match would want to pair with ColourPop. Great marketing mm-hmm. opens you up to yes people, the younger crowd. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, confusing. Yes, money, 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 money. Yeah. Um, ColourPop is also releasing nail polishes. Yes. So these are six dollars each, mm-hmm. and they're not shipping internationally. No. So a lot of people don't get why but nail polish um it's it's a thing now and that's why we can't get things like um aerosols yeah and and kl polish yeah can't be shipped internationally um often flammable materials yeah and and so they have to be transported by boat boat or ground so either truck Mm -hmm. 
or by a boat and often it's too much effort and to very ship. very yeah. expensive so what brands often do and you'll find that like i know ila masca did this when they had their stores in australia which i think they've all pulled i think mm. um they actually had a factory in australia to make their australian nail polishes because right. it was cheaper to hire a factory, factory to reformulate it yeah. and you know ship over the packaging and actually make remake their nail polishes yeah. Than it is to ship them on a boat. So um, this is why a lot of things don't, a lot of nail yeah. products don't get shipped internationally. It's just, and if people do do it, they're doing it in a naughty way. Yeah, it's it's illegal. Yeah, it's dangerous. You can, like, if you buy them off someone from uh, eBay or something like mm-hmm. that, and they're like, you know, it's going to take six weeks to ship because it's going by boat, and it does take six weeks to ship, then. That's legit and it's yep. okay. But if someone's popping them in a, an airmail bag for yep. you, bad. They're bad. actually declaring that there's no flammable materials in there. And it's... And they're lying illegal. on the customs form. So. And you can get in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Like so be careful. This sort of trouble. Yeah. 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 Anyway, careful. we do have some beautiful looking nail polishes here. It looks to be three creams and three... Metallics. Metallic or maybe hollows. Yeah. So the grayish one is definitely like a traditional hollow nail polish. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there's like a sort of yellowy pink shifty one. and Baby pink. Yeah, baby pink, lilac, mint green. Stuff. And uh, miscellaneous blue. Yeah, it's kind of like a gray pastel blue yeah bit, with a weird. hint of like turquoise yeah and it's, it's it's in there it's it's, a, it's blue let's just it's, call it blue it's blue okay yeah so there you go i think people are pretty excited about that yeah and some people are disappointed that they won't get it but yeah and uh speaking of both nail polish and random collaborations uh, Sally Hansen are collaborating with Crayola. Yes. Now, Crayola are getting around the beauty community because mm-hmm. a few months ago they did those lip balms with, with Clinique. Clinique. Yeah. Which made sense because they looked like crayons and it was kind of made sense. Mm-hmm. But now they're just bringing out the Insta Dry range, um, bright colors, and they've got that kind of Crayola lid thing going on. Yeah. Design on the lid. I believe these are coming out in the US on the 1st of July. Mm-hmm. But there's not much about this going around the beauty community so it's a little bit i'm not 100 percent sure on the facts but i did see first of july floating around somewhere i want them i want them all yeah they're cool aren't they mm-hmm. I, I, want the, I want the dark blue i really like um brands getting together with brands from my childhood yeah i love that I know, like... What, not Match.com's a... not from your childhood? <laughs> mm, sorry. I grew up in a time where the internet didn't actually exist. <laughs> That's true. Uh, well, it, it did exist, but it wasn't It wasn't for the general public. Mm-hmm. Um, but I love this. I love it. I love yeah. it. I want it. I, want I also it think that this is a... Like, even though it's a random collab, mm. It, mm. it goes well together. I think so, too. And also, I... I love random different collabs where you're like, whoa, wasn't expecting that, but Mm. that's fun. Yeah. Um, So, yeah, down with it. Cool. Um, Essence. They're bringing out three new collections, which they do like four times a year. We've got um, what looks to be like maybe a Metal Shock collection. Yeah, it's like Metal Shock, The Moon, Metal Chrome. (laughs) Yeah, there's stuff in there and it's um it looks to be like i think these um vibrant shock might be eye or maybe they're no they're lip lip paints all right so we've got metal shock lip paints or vibrant shock lip paints metal shock um they'll be the eye shadows metal chrome single shadows uh, metal shock these will definitely be yeah i reckon they'll be color changing pigments yeah um we've got the moon palette eye and face face. face. then we've got a prismatic highlighting stick two mascaras and a nail polish yeah fun exciting um we've also got the live and la vida banana (laughs) banana 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 it's back Living La Vida Banana. Banana. Oh. Uh, so there looks to be nail polishes, uh, lipstick, 
gel liner, gel liner, liquid lipsticks or lip glosses, eye pencils, a uh, powder. It'll be a banana powder, and I think that is a highlighter, jumbo highlighter. Yeah, yeah. So there was there there was there was a banana nut. Banana. <laughs> uh, and the last one we've got is Hip Girls wear blue jeans. I'm wearing black jeans. So, oh, your jeans. Are they actually jeans or are they leggings? Are they're they legit jeggings. Jeans? Well, then. Okay, well, your <laughs> hip five, ten years ago. Good yeah. on you, Hayley. <laughs> yeah. Well, they can't be. If they're stretchy, they're not real jeans. So, oh, these true. are stretchy, though. Um, because comfort. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're old. So this is a bit of a mishmash of stuff. We've got lipsticks, eyeshadow palettes, um, nail polishes, lip blush. balms, blush, stickers. Yeah. I think they're nail decals. Uh, there's a brush in there. Stuff. So stuff and things. if you're an Essence fan. You'll be living life. Or living La Vida Banana. That's yeah. what you'll be doing right now. Absolutely. Cool. All right, then we've got Victoria Beckham. Um, I think we did have some inkling or we did know that there was a new collection coming out with Victoria Beckham, but now we're seeing a lot more from it. So mm -hmm. this is, she's been shooting makeup looks for Estee Lauder and we can see um, an eye palette that's got a white, a black, a really nice purple and a grey. Mm -hmm. And I believe that this is supposed to be like London look type yeah vibe um so we'll be seeing more about that but you know people are excited yeah people cool. are excited but that was the one that had like the nude lipstick and the nude bronzer and it looked very not basic but classic i yeah. guess and we Makes were I, I reckon a while ago wondering why it doesn't seem like it's very fitting to like a full was it supposed to be a full release i think it was yeah it was supposed to be a full release and we were like why but then or was it a spring? Whatever I, the fuck it was. The colours did not the, yeah. scream whatever, whatever it was. Whatever the season was. But then we are like, well, she seems to always just do... Her thing. Her thing and what is a classic look rather yep. than what is trendy at the time. So, yeah. yeah. Um, we've got some stuff from Freedom Makeup. So these are the guys that do Makeup Revolution. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're bringing out HD Cold Light 1 and 2 and HD Lit 1 and 2. These look to be... Um, some sort of highlighting palette and there's also eyeshadow palettes HD oh, okay. or HD eye foils so they've got they're like little five pan yeah palettes they look depotable based on the images yeah I don't know if they are though it just says five pack of eyeshadows. Mm. So I'm not... Oh, yeah, freedom refillable palette. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, but they've got some... Really nice, nice swatches. Yeah, nice swatches. Um, I don't know. I think the thing that interests me about this is, like, I look at the swatches, I'm like, oh, these look nice, nice formula, nice yeah. colours, all that stuff. Um, then you see the pictures, you're like, okay, well, they're, you know original to a point i mean yeah it's a highlighting palettes how original can you be um but it just kind of shocks me like if the brand can do different stuff like this yeah why are they why are they yeah. why are they ripping people off yes yeah so makeup revolution are known for replicating palettes and like kat von d called them out on it and you know it's a lot of people have different opinions on it can I mention though, I'm sure this is going to be later because we're going to get to the M's, yep. but we'll talk about it now. They are bringing out a, a rainbow highlighter. Yes. And even though the concept of rainbow highlighters are boring as they fuck these days. They did it differently. They did it differently. That, and this is something that I wanted to talk about. Yeah. I don't understand if they can go, okay, rainbow highlighters, it's done and dusted. It's past. Okay. We're yeah. all over it. We all know they don't fucking work the way we want them to. Yeah. But they've done it different. Okay? And they've actually made it not, uh, not necessarily better no, in the quality, but, but the design's better. They've made it their own and they've yeah. done it 
clever yeah. and they've done it well and they've done it in a way that people who are still kind of on the makeup like the rainbow highlight bandwagon would yeah. go oh i need that one because yeah. it's so pretty and that's what i'm hoping that people are going to give them props for actually doing something that's yes. not a direct rip off yes it's taking heavy inspiration from other brands but everyone pretty much took heavy inspiration from that indie company that made it first so exactly um you know I'm happy that they're not blatantly copying. Copying. They're making things their own. However, yeah. they are blatantly copying something. This time it's Kevin Aquan and he's blatantly copying like the Neo range. Range. Yeah. Um so I don't even know what this product's called to be honest. I kind of don't care, but we'll see if I wrote it down. I didn't. Yes. Yeah. So the care. Neo range is like they have highlighters, they have blush bronzers, they yeah. have setting powders all in a big pan that like mm -hmm. fades from one color to another. Yes. And this is, yeah, it's copying that. It is. It's copying that. It's not even copying it very well because mm -hmm. they've got like a tiny strip of like peach highlighter, then they've got pink blush, then they've got brown bronzer. Yeah. Using just using a palette where colors are in individual pans but they're next to each other mm. when you're using face products so you typically you dig a nice big brush in there into your mm -hmm. blush or bronzer you always end up picking up product from another pan yeah so when you've got a product product like this where the colors are just like gradiating into each other mm. it's even worse yeah. so it's not even that they're taking an idea and making it better or making it their own mm. it's just yeah. We've got a product here from Gosh. Uh, they're bringing out a prime and set banana powder. So this powder can be used to prime your face pre-foundation or to set your foundation. And people were saying that they bought out one before. I think it was in a translucent. Mm -hmm. And they found it really drying. Yeah. Well, generally that technique is to dry out products yes. so it's a trick that you use if you've got really oily skin yeah or if you really want your makeup to set and not move at all mm -hmm. um my question is why do you need a banana powder as a primer because it's irrelevant like a translucent yeah i get it yep um yeah i don't get it either because typically you use a banana colored or a yellow colored powder to help brighten and color correct but mm -hmm. when you're doing it all over your face it's yeah. not doesn't work yeah it Just doesn't work more yellow. um and also it made this stuff actually made me think of the by terry hyaluronic powder mm. which is actually meant like you can use it in the same way you can use it to sort of set prime whatever but again the most drying powder i've ever used in my life like just yeah yeah uncomfortable uh huda beauty is bringing out another pack of her mini liquid lipsticks yeah um they're all nude yeah and like you know if you love a see the one thing that would put me off is crush it's a very concealer very lip. yeah um but she brought out uh like you had reds and purples and mm -hmm. pinks and stuff last time so this is you know Huda Beauty is known for the nude lips, so yeah. it makes sense. She loves it. Hmm. So, makes sense. Makes sense. There we go. All right, Jeffree Star. So, this is just a sneak peek of his autumn collection. Um, it is baby pink packaging with holographic logo. Mm -hmm. And it looks like a, like a highlighter and a lip scrub. Yeah. The end. Yeah, pretty much. Jouet is doing their... Um, Black and white, question mark. Sneak peek, blurry butter. Blurry shit. Butter. Yeah, down the bottom. Butter. All right. They're bringing out butter. Butter. Um, and then we have, like, lab sample packaging. Yeah. So you can't possibly tell what it's going to be. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, and guys. And it's not coming out until 2018. Boring. Oh, innovation and newness, though. So. Oh, of course. Get excited. Juvia's Place are bringing out, or they're working, working on. on, a matte palette with intriguing colours. So, I'm intrigued. 
There we go. L'Oreal is bringing out an infallible galaxy stick. Three, Three colors. of them. Yeah. Blue, yellow, and pink. Holographic highlighter. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Good story, bro. Makeup Forever are bringing out the Artist Liquid Matte Liquid Lipsticks. So we've got some colours here. I think, are these new shades or are these, these new products? These are new products. Okay, cool. Yeah. Makeup Monsters Cosmetics are bringing out hair dyes. And I thought this was, they're semi-permanent hair dyes. I thought it was interesting because we had the... Lime, Lime Prime, Prime ones, mm -hmm. and um, they were hyped, and then <laughs> yeah. they didn't get a good reception. Um, so it makes me think creating hair dyes is difficult. But yeah, I would definitely say it's difficult. Also, because Lime Prime were working on them for years, yeah. so if they couldn't make them great, um, I don't know if these ones will be great. But yeah. also at the same time, because those were. I'm not going to say a huge flop because I think people do still like some of the shades and yep. do use them, but because they weren't as amazing as they made out, I think it, it, it does leave the market open for someone to come in and be like, we've done them well. Yes. If you want the vegan, the indie, blah, 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 mm -hmm. here it is. So I'd be interested to see how well, these go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so NYX have dumped a whole bunch of new releases on us. So we've got the three-dimensional brow, six shades. Mm -hmm. There is the super clicky, mm -hmm. um, which looks like a pencil that you click up. Yeah, I think it's like a lipstick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They look... Lipstick pencil yeah. thing. They yeah, they look kind of interesting. Yeah. Potentially. Um, and then also these palettes that look like eye and face palettes. Yes. So contour, contour intuitive. intuitive. Mm, yeah. Okay. Um, I also saw somewhere that Nick's are bringing out. Okay. We'll go keep going on and then I'll ramble later. Oh. Um, they also have the way we glow blush bronzer highlighting I type. So. Multi product. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Um, but I also saw, I only saw one photo on the internet, so I don't know. I'll put it on the screen. Yeah, so the palettes I'm talking about, okay, so they've got four shades in each, and they're the Multi Finish Ultimate Shadow Palettes. Mm -hmm. So if you really like a turquoise, you can get the palette that's got the turquoise, the same shade, or close enough to the same shade in matte, satin, and a shimmer formula. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I like the I like the idea of having like the same formula or the same color and different same formulas. color and different formula. But do you think they hit it? They they didn't really do these colors very well though. I think the issue is you need to sell them as trios, not twelve yeah, pair good palettes. Point. Because like okay, I like that light teal color. I don't want pink, yellow, and blue though. Yeah, and so I like that dark. I teal, love that dark teal. But I don't, I don't want, the, want any of the, the other dirty. shades moss grey kind yeah. of colour. So I think that's where they potentially yeah. missed a really clever market. But like, a trio, you're right, it would be yeah. cool. Um so yeah. Yeah. I like the concept, but could have been executed. It could have been yeah. Could have been executed really well. They could yeah. have had fucking imagine all the different colours they could have. Imagine if you had like okay, and this sounds really weird, but if you had like a really foiled gold, a kind of uh, satin gold and even like a matte mustardy colour. Yep. You could create a really nice look with Absolutely. that. Or an orange or a red. It's a, a good burgundy. idea though. Like if they, you could even sell them, you wouldn't even have to sell them in a palette. You mm. could sell like like how you buy a makeup geek. It's in like a cardboard thing. Yep. You could sell the three shades together. Yeah. So I know I like purple. Therefore I'm going to buy the matte satin and metallic purple yeah and then i might also go a teal or a red or whatever yeah. and then you can buy the palette and slip them in yourself yeah anyway there you go whatevs um the last item is a three step to sculpt cream contour contour and highlighting thing trio yes uh this brand is called Okay, Ritual de Fil, I think that's a, yeah, yeah, French, my French is great, okay, 
Fuck you. There you go. <laughs> See? Said that with confidence. Yeah. Pardon my <laughs> French. Uh, they're bringing out some highlighters in the shades Lunaris and Solaris. Mm-hmm. And, so um, like moon and sun. Yes. So you've got a purple and a pink and they're pretty. They're creams. Yeah. The marketing for this actually looks really gorgeous. It does. Um, yeah. I really like this image. The purple one, I'm like, I think I'm getting over purple highlights. I yes. think that's what's happening to me here. But that pink one is so pretty. Yeah. But I love how they demonstrated that you can totally change like a mood of yeah. a photo. Yeah. With the different Absolutely. highlighters. So. Yeah. So Lunaris is a blue shifting opal luminizer, cool toned. Mm-hmm. And Solaris is, um, like, it's a duochrome gold with pink. Mm -hmm. So, very pretty. $29 each. Pre-order now. Coming out June 28th. So, they're already out. Yep. Pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is Stella. And it's a primer. (laughs) And the the image makes it look more interesting than it It is. It does. Because it's not, like... It's not this. holographic. There's no rainbow going no. on. No. If you it's... can make my face look like a rainbow just by rubbing something on it, fine. Okay? I'm down. Yeah. I'm down. I'll buy that shit. But stop it. Yeah. This is not what... No. 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 That's not what this is. Um. Yeah. It's just a primer. It's a brilliant primer packed with antioxidants to nourish your skin. You can get it at Sephora mm-hmm. US, but it looks very beige. <laughs> Gosh, don't so they get different? that brilliant glow. Oh, don't I don't know, um, but don't get tricked by the amazing, amazing imagery. Mm. That's just a trick with lighting. Yes, probably Photoshop lighting. Maybe. All right, storybook cosmetics. Oh. <laughs> There's uh, a, there was a story of a no. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, the Brady Bunch. How many are there? They say there's triplets, but then there's like six sisters or eight or twelve. In the Brady Bunch? No, the girls. Oh, the story. Yeah, they're they're triplets. Yeah, Yeah, they're triplets. Um, All right, so they bring out secret garden brushes, and these are just makeup brushes uh, with handles that have like dried flowers inside them. So um, I like the concept. I don't have any faith in the quality of their brushes, so I'm just no. going to put it out there. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, book. Um, they're also... <laughs> yeah. They're also bringing out a sunflower... Um, One of those weird paddle brush Paddle things. brush makeup brushes. The ones that look like hair brushes. Yeah. Um, Someone did point out that, that the neck of that looks like a real weak point. Absolutely. Those, I've used these brushes, and when you're like, not this particular one, but mm. these types, when you're like going on your face, they bend all over the place. Yeah, and you do, like, I, there was a lot of these in Japan, mm-hmm. um, and they do have quite a thick handle on them yep. because you're putting a lot of pressure on that weak yep. point, so I think they might get a few re- returns. Yeah, hopefully they test the product extensively yep. before releasing it. I mean, yep. look... I kind of got to give props to these girls because they're doing something a bit different. They're trying to, like, tap into a market that isn't... Like, there's not a lot of people selling shit like this. So, I get it. Um, But when I look... functional. Exactly. And when I look at this, I'm not, like... mm, Kind of like, that looks like it's going to go wrong. Do you know what these remind me of? Mm. Do you remember when you were a kid and if you went to, like... Maybe this is just in the 90s. But you'd go to, like, a restaurant with your parents and then you'd get, like, your soft drink with one of those twizzle stick thingies. Yes. Yeah. That almost looks like the quality of this. The, yes. The You could see that they were made so cheaply that, like, the edges weren't cut properly and yeah. there's bits sticking out. And yeah, like, and it's yeah, designed that, to mix a drink I in agree. a fun way. I agree. I feel like the quality of this does not scream quality. Yeah. <laughs> so... Whatevs. Anyway, they're also um, sneak peeking shades in an eyeshadow palette. Cool. That's that's all. Yep. Yep. Uh, Tatcha is now being sold at Mecca in yeah. Australia. So, but the, they are known for that spray, right? Mm-hmm. And 
I've just seen people feature them in a lot of products not worth the hype. <laughs> like this spray is really expensive and people rave about it, but it's not very good. Yeah. So yeah. I, I won't be knocking down Mecca's doors no. on release day, but it's good that they're bringing um, some popular popular, popular skincare brand. Skincare yeah. range to Australia. I hear that like their standard skincare, so like things that you put on your face that can have an effect, like moisturizer and stuff like that, is mm-hmm. quite good. Um, I know it's very expensive, but if you are a Tatcha fan or want you to be one. want to be one or are interested, it's currently available at Mecca. You can buy it. So awesome! They you can get go. samples. Mecca's very good at yes, providing samples. Yes, they are. So they are ask very for good. A sample first. There you go. What body is shop. Oh, Body Shop? Here we go. Yeah. So they're bringing out a matte clay foundation. I find this interesting because I love a good matte foundation mm-hmm. and. Clay in makeup is a really old school thing yeah. to do. Yeah. And I like it's also a good way to absorb oils. So yes. I'm curious about how this is gonna go. I did hear when they released that huge range of um oh, color changing. Well no, they no, had no. the huge range of uh, foundations. Yes. This was l- early last year. It was, yes. And then they brought out the lightening and deepening drops yeah. because I remember I spoke to someone in the store and they were saying that it's really embarrassing when someone comes in with deep skin and they say, oh, I'm, I can't find anything in the drugstore. Can you help me? And they go, go somewhere else. Like, yeah. they, they found it really emb- embarrassing, especially since the body shop is supposed to be quite um, empowering to women yeah. and yeah, diverse and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, but that particular foundation they brought out was quite a dewy one. Mm-hmm. So it is interesting to see they bring a matte one. Yeah. The shade range isn't as great as the other one. No, the shade range is very limited. How do you feel about it having tea tree in it? Because I'm iffy no, about I, that. No, I don't like it. See, I spoke to a dermatologist who said that people that swear by tea tree for like acne, mm-hmm. she doesn't recommend it to anyone because the more you use tea tree, the more susceptible you are to getting contact dermatitis from it. Yeah. And like literally... It's an irritant. Yeah, literally, because yeah. it's a disinfectant, which yes. is why people use it for acne yeah. and breakouts because of the bacteria. Mm-hmm. But it is so strong that it's literally like the equivalent of saying, okay, acid is good for your skin, so, but putting pure acid on your skin is yeah. not good. And this yeah. is the equivalent of doing it with um, a disinfectant or antibacterial. Yeah. And she said that the more you use it, you develop sensitivity to, to it, it and then yeah. become allergic to it and whenever you use it you'll get like contact dermatitis yeah. i'm so, look i i like tea tree don't get me wrong mm-hmm. i just don't think you should put it on your face every day mm-hmm. if you have a breakout and you dab it on because that's something you've got in your home it'll work like it's it's good for that so will mouthwash well yeah so would toothpaste all, really all it's doing is is disinfecting, disinfecting and it. helping to dry out the area yeah but i also feel the same way about clay like clay is good for oily skin but not every day but you shouldn't be putting it on your face every day it's too much yeah so i like i like that the body shop is bringing out a matte range of foundations for people Correct. with oily skin. I think it's great. Um, and I think, you know, they had a, a hole in their market. They're filling it. I don't think this is something that I would try based on the buzzwords that I'm hearing. Yeah. And also one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that a, lo- a lot of people, oh, I've got a friend at work who um, loves things that are natural. She mm-hmm. loves things that have tea tree. She loves things yeah. that have, you know, Things that are that come from the earth and yep. that are plants or that are dirt or that are rocks or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> yeah. But the funny thing about it is people don't realise that chemicals that are produced in labs are actually safer on the skin mm. than these items, like these products because they're designed to be less um harsh and yeah and they yeah. don't in that a lot of people have a lot of sensitivities yeah. to fragrances and all this kind of stuff and when you have a specific ingredient that's been designed to not trigger a lot of people's skin problems mm. is actually safer than using natural yeah so natural actually does not work for more people yeah. than uh like lab made yeah 
natural isn't always better. And it's better when you're eating. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Unless um, you want some cheesy popcorn. Hey, hey, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Another <laughs> thing about the like natural versus chemical debate. Mm. Um, quite often these chemicals are actually plant derived. And yeah. they just play around with in a lab so that the like fragrance in it, like the natural fragrance or the natural like essential oils in it that are too harsh for mm -hmm. your skin won't affect your skin, but you can still get benefits yeah. from it. So yeah. they're yeah. not they're not like necessarily petroleum based like, yeah. and you're using harsh things. Yeah. they yeah. Sometimes And also they're... everything is made of chemicals. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Chemistry. Chemistry. <laughs> um, the Body Shop is also bringing out brushes. Yeah. I like the look of these. Yeah. These look really nice. I like that flat top one. That looks cool. Yeah. I don't and like the, the double-ended one. No. The same. <laughs> the contour one looks good though. Yeah. They do. I'm like these sort of three large Face brushes. Ones? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm down. I'm mm. into it. Um, they're also bringing out... I don't... I don't understand the... I think this is... Odd from the body shop. Yeah, it is. Uh, they're bringing out mascara. They are fiber on one end and then mascara Coloured on the other. Coloured mascara. But then they've got colored ones. They've got two pink ones, a green and a blue. What? No, one pink one. One's just a demo. One pink, one green, one oh, blue, one I black. I they were slightly different. No, I think Maybe. it's just really bad photography. All right, cool. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Wait. Finish with a second layer of mascara for a glossy and intense finish. What? What is this? Lipstick? What? 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 Anyway, I don't, I don't get it. Um, they're also bringing out a fixing spray. So you spray it on top of finished makeup to keep it looking just applied without melting, cracking or fading. It's an aloe fixing spray. So a finishing spray, not a setting spray. Yeah. Cool. The getcha. You yeah. Gotcha. Oh, I'm bringing out a brush cleaner. This Ooh! and 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 wait, let's contain because let's go back. Let's go back. They're bringing out a sponge yeah. and they're calling it a beauty blender. Oh, they're gonna get in trouble for that. They're gonna be slapped with a fucking lawsuit for that because beauty blender is a brand, not it, an actual product. Exactly. But that. That fucking thing, <laughs> you buy them on eBay for a dollar and free With shipping. free shipping. And they, Just, they, fit, they fit on your finger. I've yep. got one because I was going to do a video where I was testing out fucking eBay makeup, but it couldn't be fucked. Yep. So I never got around to it. And these, you, it's eBay products. This is infuriating. Yeah. I, oh. yeah, I agree. I the don't... next thing they're going to bring out is a fucking silicon sponge. You know what's going to happen. You know it's gonna happen. Come on, and they're gonna shop. call it the silly sponge, and then be slapped with another fucking lawsuit. <laughs> don't do it, guys. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, let's move on from that rage. Oh. On to some more. All right, this is interesting. Yeah, I agree. So Too Faced have sneak peeked their holiday one of their holiday palette releases. You know there'll be more. No, there's two. They sneak peek two. Oh, did they? They did. One is this big one, yes. which is in a diary. Yes. Like you get a diary with it and a mini mascara and stickers. Yes. And it says, what does it say on top of it? Um, uh, something makeup. Oh, I think repeat. it's like. Uh, oh, wake up, makeup, repeat. Yes. Yep. So it's like a. And I, do you know what? I don't like this because it seems really gimmicky and a lot of people are saying it looks like child's kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But at the same time. I like that they put best year ever 2018 because I you've got to give them props for being positive. Yes. And also, okay, I'm not going to buy this no. unless, I don't know, unless something miraculous happens. But I actually, I like the concept and I like the concept because who has brought out a, a diary, a, a diary, like an eyeshadow palette that you buy for the holidays at Christmas and inside is also a fucking planner and for the, the following year. Best time of the year to do it as well. Exactly. Best time the of the year. The concept yeah. is clever. Yeah. Okay, it's not for me. I don't want the stickers. Um, I don't hate the look of yeah. your diary. And I don't trust those eyeshadows. I no. don't like the colors. Mm, no. No. I agree. Like, but so this I, is... un 
I understand why people are like, Meh. yeah, I, I yeah. totally get that. Yeah. But at the same time, if I had to see another fucking chateau or cafe or some bullshit <laughs> yeah. box, yeah, yeah. I would be done differently. I agree. Give them a slap because yeah. they have done that too many years in Absolutely. a row. Absolutely. So the fact that they're taking a different twist, yeah. I give them props for. Will I buy it? I don't like the colors. Yeah. That's fair I, enough. Yeah. yeah. But the second thing they're showing. Mm hmm. Is this guy here? So right. it's a makeup bag yes. that's got the three individual palettes. In palettes. It. Right. So a pink one mm-hmm. that looks bland as fuck. Absolutely. A nighttime one that's got greys and blacks. Yes. And then also just a nude one. Yeah. These that's are called so, nap- they're so, generic. so bland. I will not touch these with a 40 foot pole. But once again, I give them props because I like what it says I on the outside more, i have way more makeup at home i like it too i like it i like that. i like the words they're choosing yeah i will not buy it though no no i won't but buy i do it. have way more makeup at home yeah and You're right look um <laughs> honestly if these palettes one if i could trust Too faced formula and two these palettes were actually bringing something different like even if the shades in the palette were completely different to things that they usually do. Yeah. Like, I know I'm not going to get a repeat of what was in last year's or yeah. a palette they brought out two weeks ago or fucking six years ago. If I knew the shades were different, even with the bad quality, I might be swayed. I yeah. would wait until release day and I'd see how I feel then. Yeah. But because I know these shades are... Bland as fuck. Bland as fuck. Already done. Yeah. And, and they often reduce the quality. So I thought in the planner one, some of these look like shades that came out of the Nikki palette. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that this looks very familiar. And I just... Someone also thought that these photos, the individual, that the three pack things, which yeah. is similar. I did this three pack thing last year. So yes. we're not, I'm not saying this is original. But um, someone said that they thought that the colours had been muted slightly because they look really bland. But then there's actually a shot where you see a fluoro pink blush and they're like, oh, no, sorry, they're just bland eyeshadows. Yeah. So, you know, I'm going to say, like, the concept isn't bad. I totally agree with you. If they brought out a diary and a kick-ass palette, Mm -hmm. kicking goals because it's a smart connection. And you know what? I'd probably buy it because I always like to buy something from Too Faced Holiday Collection. Yeah. And I do generally like to buy a diary for the new year. I typically go really, really cheap because it's a diary. I'm going to scribble in it and then throw it in the bin. But, like, I think the concept is good. Yeah. I would love to see a really intense, like, jewel-toned palette from them mm-hmm. or something because I find that they're really metallic, um, oh, intense they colours. So beautiful. They're really nice. Yeah. But they are and going wishy-washy. Use a good primer, they're even better. Yeah. I, I just feel like Too Faced is... I feel like they've got the ideas. Yeah. But they're not executing them well because they're like, here's a good idea, now let's execute it really badly. Yeah, as bland as possible. Exactly. With that makeup bag, so I like what it says on it, but what would have been smarter instead of copying the same thing as the three packs with the mini mascara like they did last year? They could have done so they much. They should have made mini versions of like their heart. I knew she was going to say blush, this. Their heart highlighter. Yeah. Like little mini versions yes. of the liquid lipstick and, and made they... literally a makeup pack for exactly. people. Exactly. Take this away and you could almost do your, your full, full face, face with it. of makeup. You could put in a mini born this way. You yep. could put in mini better than sex. Yeah. You could like, could you imagine teeny tiny mini like heart Highlighters. Yeah. In that metallic. Gorgeous. Oh, would have been so my cute. God. Like, invest. Little bronzer. Exactly. Invest the money there to create this awesome shit. Yeah. And then at the end of the year, you you could sell a pack with yeah. minis of some of your best sellers in there yeah. for a lot of money. Yeah. And right? also, if you didn't put a like an eyeshadow in there, it makes people want to buy both. Because exactly. you're not getting double up. So exactly. they could have done a lot better. Could've, but They could have. But they didn't. I don't know if this is like Jared doing this weird mm-hmm. bland stuff or his name's Blandino. <laughs> I think that says it all, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, can we also mention that Jeffrey Star? Yep. Look, a lot of people crack the shits at what Jeffrey Star has to say, but I'm gonna say 
everyone that I've seen agrees with him. Yeah. And when I too. posted, when I reposted these little videos on our Instagram, do check out our Instagram, mm -hmm. uh, Beauty Link News Official, below. link down below. Um, I reposted these videos from Jared and everyone was just like snore, you know, like the little Yawn. like little sleepy fucking um, emoji. Everyone's just like boring. Mm -hmm. So he's not... He's not wrong. He's not wrong and he's not alone when it comes exactly. to the comments that he's made. Yeah, I agree. So he said... Um, it was on a trend mood. It was on a trend mood. And people were like, oh, he owns a brand. He should have more respect. Eh. No, I kind of don't think so. But also, I... he's not commenting from his brand's Instagram. He's no, commenting from his from personal, his personal Instagram. Instagram. He's not going to the Too Faced Instagram. He's yeah. not chasing them down. He went to another, like, beauty account, and he just said, like, I can judge any brand just like the rest of you. My opinion is spot on about the palette, as every comment above this reflects how bored we are of their continuous use of the same shades in every palette. We, the customers, expect and want more. Fucking here, here. And yes, he is a customer, do. so he's allowed he to say that. customer. But this was in response to him saying something, yes. and then people... Cracking the sounds. He originally said, if anyone can't snag this palette, don't worry. They've made 10 others like it. They have. Yeah. <laughs> and they'll bring one out next year too. And you know what? Every time they bring out a new palette, not only does it basically look like something else they've released, the quality gets worse and worse. So bingo. 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 He's bingo. right. And yeah. if you haven't fallen out of love with Too Faced yet, keep buying their stuff, honey. Don't worry. Eventually those palettes will get Boring as batch. Yeah. I am going to say though, they've got some great products, but they do. Their, That's their why... great products are like permanent products that yeah. aren't often pushed. They're liquid, yeah. matte liquid lipsticks, phenomenal. Glitter Love glue, them. phenomenal. Oh, so good. Bronzer, better than phenomenal. sex mascara. Okay, that was pushed. That's a yeah. Popular and some people anyway. don't like it because it, they find it crumbly. But okay. I really like Fair it. Enough. I like it. Uh, they have some really good stuff. And yeah. it disappoints me that they continue to create palette after palette after palette which yeah. i'm a palette junkie i will fucking buy the damn palettes if they're exciting yeah but when it's regurgitated crap and the quality is bad i'm gonna right. complain yeah mm -hmm. exactly right mm -hmm. oh this is more shit oh, we have another yeah. thing from jared so i don't even know what this is no it's a sneak peek of something but he loves his job because he's working on a Sunday, um, testing out this beat up, fucking horrible looking palette. Why did he post this ugly? Like this yeah. looks like a mess. Not only does okay, some people were saying that this brings them back memories of stuff that they bought in the nineties, makeup that they bought in the nineties. Yeah, and when you see the quality of this. Or the way this looks, it's like, well, that's because it is from the 90s. Yeah. And he's just been storing it away for a fucking Instagram photo. Yeah, it looks it look, yeah, it looks like some old makeup that is like, oh, 20 years yeah. anniversary coming up. Um, Love it. But so he's jumping on, they're jumping on the holographic bandwagon, mm -hmm. this holographic packaging. It looks like there's a blue shifting highlighter possibly. It's and gigantic. some just boring ass shadows. Um, I did actually regram this on our Beauty News official Instagram page, and I was like, "Stay tuned for more information in 2020 yeah. because this is not going to come out for at least another year." I hope it never comes out. Yeah, like the dick vagina things. Give me my dick vagina, <laughs> Jared. Yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> that dick vagina slays us every time. Uh, Shan XO or XO Beauty. Um, she's Highlight released them. highlighters. I don't know. I like the look of these. I think they look fairly nice. Was it only one or was it... No, there's two. Okay. So we've got Aurora, Aurora and also Lucent. Yeah. And these look to be more glowy highlighters. Yeah. Um, and they're both beige-ish, which yeah. I really like because they're the one's most One's cool and one's warm. Yeah. So, like, they're nice. I, even on, like, looking on her skin, they look like nice glowy highlighters yeah. not like glitter and sparkle yeah. and like look at my skin texture yeah. so but these are already out yeah they are they yeah. i think they came out like today or yesterday yeah. but when you're watching this it's like a couple of days ago a couple of days ago um 
It looks like she might also be bringing out brushes with nipples. <laughs> nipple brushes. Hey, they I are, don't hate it. They are nipple brushes, aren't they? Yeah. I they want dip really vagina dense, though. and I want nipple brushes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, yes. I don't know. Like, I'm I'm kind of intrigued by these brushes because I fucking love makeup brushes. It's mm. like mm, guilty pleasure. Mm. And I just, I'm trying to work out like. What's the benefit of it? What, what yeah, what am I getting out of these? Mm. So I'm totally intrigued by them. Um, I think she's done a nice job with these highlighters, though. Packaging is really nice, too. Yeah. So. Fingerprints galore. Well, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But I love that she's gone, like, the silver mirror yeah. reflective, because everyone's sort of like, hello, rose gold, rose gold. gold. And I like this. To me, it's yeah. like platinum. Mm. Yeah. Nipple brushes. Nipple brushes for the win. Yeah, that's what I'll be screaming about from now on since Jared won't give me my dick vagina. Yeah. Oh, at least Shanna XO has your back. She does. Giving you the nips. Nipple brushes. All right, so that is our episode for today. Mm -hmm. Um, What do we have coming up tomorrow? Do we discuss it slightly? Yeah, sure. Go for it. Let's do it. Okay, we've got a bonus makeup breakup going up Mm -hmm. now this only is going up to kind of set the scene for a video that's going up on sunday that's Mm -hmm. a new sort of concept for us and um we don't yeah we're not going to be able to do them often because we we need a whole collection of something and it's expensive to get Mm -hmm. but we've been wanting to do this and we thought it would be an interesting concept yes so tomorrow we're going makeup breakup um how many pumps slash how much product in the the ordinary coverage foundation Foundation. so the ones that everyone is like oh my god Mm -hmm. crazy so we're putting up that yeah then on sunday we're doing an like a swatch video Mm -hmm. of all 21 shades yes because we're fucking loopy Mm -hmm. um so we just thought that that would be a really good video for people that didn't know what shades to buy yeah and we had so much trouble we spent hours sitting at the computer going what shades do we buy and we're literally gonna buy four each because we didn't know which ones to get and they were so cheap so we were like hey it'll be all right and then we were like fuck it let's buy the whole collection yeah and do a A a community service yes um so that one is a bit testing the waters so um give it some love because it took a bit of editing if you like these sort of swatch videos we would like to try and do more in the future yeah um but it will it will only happen as we can do it, basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we've got a couple of uh, ranges of lipsticks that we could do it with mm-hmm. um, in the near future. But another problem is, like, in the video on Sunday, we've got Shuana, who's come back in to lend her arm yes. so we can get some different uh, colours, yeah. different skin, skin colours. Tones. Skin yeah. tones. Um, and I don't know if we will, like, it's a good concept and I'd love to be able to make that a regular thing, mm. like fair and deep. Yeah. Um, but I don't think we can always do Always that. expect Shuana to yeah. drive over. It's kind of unfair yeah. if, to ask her to do that all the time. Uh, obviously, sometimes she can benefit from it because we could give her the foundations and, yeah. you know, she can go off and use them. Um, but it... it it's not always going to work, unfortunately. Yeah. So but if we can, we will. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yes. So yeah, let us know what you think of the video on Sunday mm-hmm. and we might be making more of them. Yeah, that's that's a thing. That's a thing. Also, oh. we need a, oh, an emoji. There's dick no, vagina. There's no dick vagina. There's no dick vagina. Uh, Nipple brush. There's no nipple There's brush. There's no nipples. <laughs> popcorn? Ooh. Is there any popcorn? popcorn? There yeah. is popcorn! Yay, popcorn! Okay, popcorn is the mm. emoji. So if you made it all the way to the end, make sure to include popcorn in your comment mm. so we know that you made it to the end. Um, also, if you don't have emojis available or if you are on the computer, you can copy the one in the description box yep. and paste it. Yep. I'll stick one there. Not a dick vagina. <laughs> so sad. Somebody make me a dick vagina emoji. Yeah. Actually, maybe don't do that. <laughs> Thanks, guys, so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, and we will see you tomorrow. Yeah.
And on Sunday. And, and on, on Monday. Monday. And then on Tuesday and Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And, Thursday and, and then Friday. Friday. How do you like them, Apple? Fuck, man. <laughs> I know. We've got so much editing to do. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Okay. See Bye. you guys.